great. The way to do that is hover over the bottom and click on the microphone button. Okay. So that's how we meet. All right. So hello to all. Um, welcome to Get Connected with Google Meet. Um, my name is Trisha Fontenot. I'm the Instructional Technology Facilitator for St. Landry Parish School Board. I'm also the School District Webmaster and Social Media Manager. And um, I am going to show you some of the things that I love about Google Meet. I'm also going to show you some things that I really didn't love straight off the top but that I'm getting accustomed to, all right? So um, this is going to be a training that is for, in, for, of course, to get you acclimated with Google Meet, but also to give you information about, you know, what's best for you moving forward. Um, I'm not sure that the district has settled in on a specific platform um, between Zoom and Google Meet, but in the event that it is Google Meet that you will be using, it's probably a good idea to be where you are now. All right. So before we get started, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you're going to see today. So um, the learning objectives for today are one, I want you to be able to identify the Google Meet features and interface. And by interface, I mean, what does Google Meet look like? What are the things that are available to you within Google Meet? Um, number two, identify ways to maintain security in Google Meet. And that's a huge one. So I'm going to talk about that straight off the top. Um, the way Google Meet is set up in our organization, you ha we have um, an admin console for Google, right? Within that admin console, we have a container for teachers and a container for students. And the way that the admin console is currently configured, um, students are unable to join a meet without a teacher present, right? A teacher, they can't initiate a meet. But I will tell you this, at the current time, if you are in a meet, this is how it differs from Zoom at the time. I don't know if they're going if they're going to make some changes on this because I know Google Meet is making lots of changes. In fact, I see some of those changes today. But um, initially, um, when when you're in a Zoom, if you, if the host leaves the Zoom meeting, it then kicks everyone out, right? So. The host leaves the meeting, the meeting is ended. Um, I'm not sure if those have been adjusted yet in Google Meet, but what I would tell you is to make sure if you are a teacher that all students are removed before you go out of a meet. That way they cannot come back into that meet. And I'll tell you that because there's a way in Google Classroom to meet with your students without having to establish a new meet each time. And we'll discuss that too, all right? But I just wanted to make sure that you understood that you should never leave a Google Meet with students still in that meet. Um, number four, using Meet within Google Classroom. And we're going to talk about that as well. So um, I thought about how I could really show you how to establish a Google Meet, all right? Um, and look at all the features within Meet. So what I decided to do is, the first thing I wanna tell you is how to join a Meet. So there's two ways, right? Um, the first way, or one of the ways I should say, is right from within Google Classroom on that Google Classroom banner. So if you have a Google Classroom, then in the Google Classroom banner, there's a way to um, have your settings configured. And I'm going to show you that. Um, so I'm going to go out to classroom.google.com. And I'm going to go into one of my classrooms just to make sure you guys are still seeing my screen, right? 
which by the way, I know you don't have like a little thumbs up or anything right now, but that's a feature that is coming to Google Classroom. So the little, um, you know, thumbs up, hands up, things like that. All right. So, all right. So right now, um, I want to show you my one of my Google classes that I have. And within that class banner, um, if you want your if you want to meet with your students directly from within Google Classroom, all you would have to do is go to the settings feature, go down, and that's where you have your Google Meet settings. You can make that link visible right from within Google Classroom by simply toggling it from off to on. If you have questions, feel free to chat those in while I'm going, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to chat those in. So this is your meet link. You can always reset that link. Let's say um, at the end of the class, you feel like you want to have a little added security. So you go in and you reset that link, right? Um, that's going to change the link in the banner. So it's no longer going to be the link that you use that day. It will change. So again, students can never join a new meet without the teacher present. The only time a, a, a student can potentially be in a meet along, uh, with other students is when you don't close out these kids, when you don't remove them or have them remove themselves. <clears throat> yes, it does make it a visible link to the students. And um, let's see, um, let me, let me just save this here. I'm gonna show you that visible link, okay? So this is on the teacher side, but if I would go to the student side, they would see it as well. And I know that because I have people in my um, principal's G Suite learning series and they are able to meet with me right within um, the Google Classroom. So the other way to initiate a meet is to open up a new tab and type in meet dot google dot com so meet dot google dot com um, it's going to show you if you have any meetings that you set up which by the way you can set up a meeting right from within your google calendar it's really really easy to do um, or and then that's what i did here so you can see my 11 o'clock which is happening now and my one o'clock which is happening later right but I can also start another meeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a meeting right now. I've already asked a few principals to come in and meet with me through Google Meet while I'm meeting with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and invite them in. Um, I'm going to just name the sample meet, which, by the way, you can always when you go to meet.google.com, you give your meeting a nickname or a name. If you're meeting within Google Classroom, it's, it's always the same. You're not gonna have to name the meeting, right? So I'm saying continue. So I'm initiating a meet, right? That was um, classroom, I mean, that was meet.google.com. Um, so you see me here, right? I'm gonna turn that video off. I'm looking a little rough today. Um, I'm going to click on join now. So now you see that I've joined a meeting. Right at the onset of initiating a Google Meet, you will see that a box will pop up. It's going to tell you the meeting name and give you the opportunity to copy that joining information. When you copy that joining information, you can then um, paste that joining information into, into um, an email and send them an invite, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add people directly. She typed in sample, hey girl, hey ladies. I'm doing a training, so I'm showing um, everyone how to meet within Google Meet. <laughs> I'm gonna X out of your meeting. They're probably showing, but um, I'm going to create, again, I'm going to go through and show you how to create a meeting, meet.google.com, 
going to start a meeting just goes to show you, you probably shouldn't put something like sample somebody else might be meeting in the district that has the word sample right um so i'm going to put um some letters in and numbers and click continue all right so here we go i'm going to turn my camera off and join now again as i said this box will pop up at that point you can click to add people and begin inviting so i'm going to start inviting my people if those people are within your system the school system you would just type in their names so the people that are going to be meeting with me or dr nicole davis um miss tiffany perry miss gina lagrange Miss Mary Dupre and Mary Miller. There we go. So I'm just typing their names in and I'm going to click send email. All right. So I'm sending them an invite. I told them to be on the lookout for that invite. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be coming in in a minute. <laughs> I just got a text from Dr. Laverne saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I just typed in sample. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, let me send them out a text letting them know I'm ready. Oh, there we go. Hi, Miss Perry. Hey. How are you? Good and you. Great. Hey, Miss Dupre. Good morning. Thank you both for stopping by. So I'm just letting you know I'm in a training and I'm actually um, having, like I said, the training people are able to see you guys. But you can put your mic on because I, I, I probably won't really need to. Um, I really won't need to. Hey, Dr. Morrison. Uh, if I if I need some input, I'll I'll question you guys. Can you guys? Um, I'm hearing s uh, some uh, like a dog in the background and um, yeah, it's me, noise. but I can't mute myself. Who's who's me? It's Miss Marguerite. Do I mute it on my phone? Are you on your phone? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma mute your phone, please. No All problem. Right. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get oh, it. Oh, I know you will, and it's all good. We got you. Your dog is mad, though, Miss Marguerite. <laughs> oh, the pl there's a plumber here, and she's ferocious. <laughs> oh my uh, goodness! I don't know how to, I'm not doing this so well on my phone either, so this is making it's me okay. nervous. But anyway, <laughs> I signed into my laptop, so now I got video and I got a microphone. Okay. So, <laughs> that's awesome. now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so um, it looks like Miss Marguerite. No, I... ma'am, I'm not having any luck with my. Phone. I, okay, I just... so let, that's okay. Let me try to I'm mute you, so okay? Sorry. Yeah, please. No, no need to apologize, Miss Marguerite. You're okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just give me one second and I'll do my best to mute you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. I don't know that I can that you're on the phone, but I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right. Me too. <laughs> All right. Not a problem. Let's see. Just it's okay. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get away from the dog. No, there you go. that's probably a good idea, huh? Hold on, I might be able to mute you. I think I found you. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go, guys. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um what this looks like. And hey, Miss Laverne. I mean, Miss Lagrange, I'm calling you Miss Lagrange. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna mute, I'm gonna show you guys a few things. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to mute participants. So, I know, I'm gonna mute you guys. I'm gonna mute you guys, it's okay. So, 
In order to mute someone, okay, this only happened because I'm a meat on top of a meat, remember? So no worries. This will not happen with you. This is because I'm running two mute, two um, simultaneous meets. Um, so basically what I've done is in order to mute um, participants, you would go to the people's tab and then you would just arrow down right next to that person's name and they have a pin. So let's say I wanted Mary Dupre to show. This is my student, Mary Dupre, and I want everything that she's uh, she's got the floor, so as a teacher, I'm giving her the floor by pinning her to the main window, right? And then if I unpin her, it goes back to my participants. Um, I have this in grid view. I'm going to show you the layout to the layout feature. But again, um, if I wanted to go to Miss Lagrange, I could do the same thing, and I would then be able to put her on the screen and then unpin her. So she would move from middle to back. This is a really good feature for if your students, um, if you're allowing a student to speak so that everybody can see that student and that student only, right? I mean, you can see on the side, but this way you what, can what mainly are you showing see, us how to do that. Um, I'm not showing you guys. I'm showing my class how to do it, but I'll show you guys how to do that later. So again, that's just a pin. Um, also, if a student is giving trouble and you need to remove that student for any reason, you could go to the minus sign and then click on remove and have that student removed from the um, video conference, okay? So that's pretty much the people tab. Let's say that you needed to invite someone else to the meeting. Say you got participants in there and you forgot to add them to the, someone to the meeting. All you would need to do is click on this add people tab. It would pop right up. You can then type in a name. Um, I'm gonna type in Mary Miller and I can then click on send and she would have the invite, okay? Trisha, um, I, can't, I can't see what you're doing, I just see all of us who are in the meeting. Is that what I'm supposed to be seeing? Yes. That's what you're supposed okay. to be seeing. Yeah. Because you're, you're saying like click on this tab, but <laughs> I can't see what you're clicking on. Just making sure. Oh, yes. I got it. It's good. Thank you. Um, okay. So the next thing that you would do, guys, is, um, or the next thing I'm going to go over is I want to go over the chat feature. Um, if you would, Mary, type in Click on the chat box, that's at the top right. And then in the box down below, begin to chat. I'm gonna say, hi, everyone. And just for time's sake, I'm not really capitalizing anything or anything like that. I'm saying, hi, everyone. Um, usually, <clears throat> when you're in a chat, that will pop up on the screen, right? I don't know why it didn't do that, but I'm gonna ask you guys, Gina, um, Dr. Davis, uh, Mary, go ahead and click on the chat and send me a message so that everyone can see that. Good morning. Okay, so you're seeing their screen right here. Um, I think it's because I'm in a meet on top of a meet, but you guys did see that in this particular meeting, when I chat with you all, you see the message, right? Like, hello. Um, you see it all pop up, right? Like a little pop up that comes out. Yes, I okay, see it. Y'all see that coming up? That is how it typically looks on your screen. So you'll be able to. Um, You'll be able to see that. And yes, you do see what I'm commenting because I'm in a meet over a meet. I know it's kind of hard to understand. Uh, it's a lot easier to use than it is to teach because I'm having to teach two simultaneous, right? I have to teach one and have the other one open. And so, but there is rhyme to reason, I promise, guys. So this is the easiest way to show you how to use a meet is to actually do a live one. And so that's what I'm doing here with these guys, uh, these four principles. Um, I do wanna show you two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
click off here and then click on again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll present my whole screen to you guys. Um, because for some reason in this particular one, I don't have that feature. Let me just keep on going. All right. So I'm going to come back to what I was initially about to tell you. Let me, let me start from the left bottom, bottom left. Right here is where you see all of your meeting information. Okay. So I named this meeting 123 ASD. That's the nickname. It's called the nickname. And it can only be used within St. Landry Parish School Board, right? So um, if other people chose to join, like outside of the organization or not with their name, I mean, not with their school email, then I would have to admit them, right? So that's a really good feature to have. Um, unlike the waiting room, it's only going to ask to let people join that are not in the St. Landry Parish school system. So it still gives you the flexibility of allowing those people in. It just says, okay, well, um, you know, you have to admit them as the host to, for them to be able to join. And I know a few of you have it are uh, presenting and you're not on your um, school account because it asked me, hey, you wanna let these people in? And I did, so. Um, lucky you, you got to come to my class. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so anyway, you can copy, again, like I said, copy that joining information. You can also send it in an email. Um, but it's so much easier to do if you invite people by going to the People tab and then just click on Add People. So much easier to do, like um, doing it that way. So the next thing across the bottom you'll see is your microphone. I can turn my microphone on or off right here. So um, I'm, if I turned it off, you would see a red line through the microphone. Turn it on. So that's just a click, guys. Click on, click off. That's all. Um, same thing with ending the meet, which, again, I will caution, if you end a meet, um, you want to make sure before you end that meet that all students are out of that meet because then they could potentially meet with one another without you in the room. So that's going to be a very, very important. Now, I'm not sure with the things that Google Meet is pushing out, this might be one of the things that's going to um, be changing. Um, I'm not sure about that. I do know though, so let me belt these out to you. I do know that these are the features that they will be adding in addition to the ones that um, we I don't know about. So you're going to be able to see up to 49 people at once. Hopefully you will never have to see that many at one time. Um, you, They will add a hand raising feature. Right now I have it as an add-in, an add-on, where I can raise my hand if I chose to do so. And you would see it. Um, that's because uh, I have an add-on, and we'll talk about add-ons too um, in just a minute. Um, I have a feature that I have enabled that's called Meet Attendance. So I can literally take attendance throughout this whole entire meeting. And so each time I'm taking attendance, they might have different numbers of people. So if I want to take attendance at the beginning, I just swipe and swipe back. If I want to take attendance at the middle, I can swipe and swipe back again. You don't see what I'm talking about because for some reason it's not in this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end my meet with you guys, um, if you don't mind. And I'm going to meet up with you again soon. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, send you another link in just a bit. Okay, thank you guys. I'm going to try to show them my whole screen. All right, so the next thing is, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is um, the fact that you can share your whole entire screen um, when presenting. Oh, 
I, I'm all over the place. You have to forgive me today. I have so many things on my mind. Um, they're also going to be adding breakout rooms. Again, breakout rooms is not something that you just want to stick kids in by themselves. If you have a breakout room, we again, Google Meet does not have this feature right now, but they are adding it. Um, if you put students in a breakout room, whether you're going to be using Google Meet or Zoom, you never do that by you never put them in by themselves because you can't be in more than one room at a time, breakout room that is. So you never want to do that. You specifically should use that for your service providers. Okay, so let's say you have a resource teacher that's on the conference with you and you want to um, send the resource teacher and a student in a breakout room to give them um, some additional um, modifications and that or just um, you know go over and reteach the lesson then you would utilize those breakout rooms they're also going to have a polling feature a Q&A these are all features that are coming down the pike they're not there yet um, they're also going to have additional moderator controls where you can mute everyone at one time right now you have to go to each individual person and mute um, that's that's going to be changing. Um, they're going to have additional presenting features, um, Google Jamboard integration. So that's a whiteboard that's going to be integrated right from within the Google Meet. Um, and they're going to have additional joining um, joining features. And I'm not what I'm not sure what those joining features are, but I do know that the moderators will have more control. And so um, that's really good. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to share my whole screen to see if you guys can see um, what I'm seeing. So let me do that right now. Um, I'm going to undo present. So you're going to see it says stop presenting, right? So right now you should only see yourselves in grid form or however you have it configured on your particular machine. But now I'm gonna share my entire screen. Can you guys, here we go, share. So you're seeing my screen. Can you guys see yourselves on the screen? Are you able to see? Just go ahead and chat with me and let me know that you can see. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so by doing that, um, I actually didn't even know that it was going to allow me to do this because if you're in Zoom, that's not going to be how it works, right? So this is great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this screen and open it up a bit. All right, and I want to show you something. I want to show you some more stuff. Um, can you guys see the uh, meeting name here? Connect with your students and the pop out. Good, perfect. Okay, so here we go. We got we. I'm sharing my whole screen right now, so you're seeing everything I'm seeing, which is wonderful. I'm glad to know that it did that. It allows you to do this. Um, so again, this is your meeting information this is where you can either copy the joining information you can add attachments for your people to see um or details uh the details of the meet you can see those this is your muting microphone on or off this is to end the meet if i wanted to end the meet i would simply click on this little um phone receiver um this is video on or off if you want to have your video on you can choose to do so I want to show you this feature because I absolutely love it. So let me show you this. All right, so this is called captions. And to turn captions on, you simply would click the captions button. Once you have that initiated, the captions, as you speak, um, those captioning or those captions, that text will be at the bottom of the screen. This is ideal for students with hearing disability, you know, with a disability that um, would prevent them from be able, being able to hear what is going on, right? So I really, really love this feature. 
I think it does um, a great job of taking the, the information that you give or you speak and putting that into a text. Um, I, I really love this feature, guys. So um, this is something that is just phenomenal to me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn captions off. See, this is this is just, like I said, just phenomenal. Um, this is the presenting button. So right now I'm presenting, but if I would click here, it would give me the option to stop presenting. I'm going to go ahead and save this one for a little late, later, but I do want you to know that when you are presenting, um, let's see what Dana says. Can a student turn off the captions? No, I don't think so. I think that's only moderator. Are y'all able to turn off captions? Because y'all are all students in here. Maybe they can. I, I don't really know because I'm not hardly ever on the, they can turn it off. Okay, well, so that's great. Even better. Because I would like, if I'm, if I'm not needing to see those captions, then I definitely want to be able to turn that off. For some people, it might be very distracting, right? So great. Thank you for the feedback, by the way, because I wouldn't have known that. Um, so when you um, click on present, you have the ability to present your whole screen or present a window or a tab. So it's going to be whatever works for you. But I will show you a little add-in that I have in my screen that I really, really love. And it's called Duelist, okay? So it's a, it's a Chrome extension, it's called Duelist. It will split my window away from any of the other windows. So my presentation window can be on the left while my, um, my students can be on the right, right? So I can see all of my students on the right and see what I'm presenting on the left. So that's really good. It's called Duelist. It's an extension um, that uh, even now, before uh, Google Meet pushes down any of their new features, that is to split windows. So I really like Duelist. I'm going to send you a link to Duelist as soon as I can find that link for myself. Um, I don't have it right off the top. But when I do get that, I'll send it to you guys. All right. So Duelist is an add-on. And I'll talk more about add-ons um, as I go across. All right. So next, after the presenting button, I want you to see that you have three dots to the far right at the bottom. So if you click on those three dots and you go all the way up to the top, I believe you can see that right now. That's your recording button. So if you wanted to record this, you would click on the recording button to record the meet, all right? The second button is to change layout. Some of you early on before the class even started say, asked, hey, how can we change the layout so it looks like Zoom, all right? So you would click on this change layout button and then this would pop up. And so you could leave it to automatic default. You could change it to where you have it at sidebar, um, spotlight, or tiled. All right. So right now I have it at tiled so I can see all of your little um, your um, icons, emojis. If you have a video, I can see your, your video, right? So tiled. That's really probably the best way to have this done whenever you're in a meet with your students and you want to see their videos. So tiled, really like tiled. Um, so that's one feature. And again, there um, right now you can tile up to, I believe, 16 people, but uh, they're increasing that to 49. So they may have already increased it. I don't really know because um, I have 44 yet. No, they didn't increase that yet, but they will to 49. Um, now, the next one is full screen. So if I click here, then I'm going to be in full screen mode. So it's going to just take um, that browser and make it full screen. So that's what full screen is. Um, there's another place where you can turn on captions. So again, you have it down here, but you also have it here as well. 
Now, this is going to be important, this settings button, okay? So I'm going to pop up that settings button and show you that um, you have audio options in your settings menu or your settings button, but you also have video options. And I'm gonna tell you right now that um, what's going to be very important is if students are using hotspots, um, you don't wanna take up too much bandwidth when you're presenting to them, right? Well, the way to do that is to keep it in standard definition, 360 pixels. I can make my video, like if I were presenting my video and I wanted it to look clean and crisp and clear, I could arrow down here and go to high definition. But um, why would I really want to do that? Um, this is just going to take a lot more um, bandwidth up. And so we know that some of these students that have hotspots, they're going to need to um, be, you're going to need to be cognizant of their bandwidth usage, okay? Because they can't, um, they have a limit on that. So that's one way to do that here. So I really like that option here in Google Meet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the three again. I talked about settings. Just know that you can also use a phone for audio. If you click here, it'll give you the phone number. Um, the last three features I've never had to use, but therefore reporting a problem, reporting a abuse, and for help. Okay, so those are some things. Now we're going to talk to the chat box that you see up here. All right, so in my chat box or in my little menu here, I see participants, right? And so if I wanted to, I could click here and I would get a pop out, right? And so I'm able to see all of the people that are in on this meet if I arrow down. If I wanted to go to a certain person and turn off their microphone, you can't unmute someone. They have to do that themselves. But if they were talking and I needed to mute them, just know that I would just need to go to their name, click on the mute button. If I wanted that person to show up, and again, I talked about this, but just to let you know, if I wanted that person to show up in the center, I would just click on the pin button. You're now seeing that person's video and then unpin will get me right back to that grid view if that's what I chose. If I wanted to remove a person again, that's just simply this, um, this little icon here. Now, the chat button. Um, every time somebody chats, it's going to go into the chat window. Um, and that's great, but the feature that I love is the fact that it also pops up on your screen as they're typing it in so you can simply read it off as it's being chatted in i really 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 love that feature that's something new that they just came out with so just to let you guys know um they also um i'm gonna x out here and show you that um i think it's because it went um i should have let me see here oops I'm showing you myself that I didn't want to do. Um, I also have a plug in that's called meet attendance, right? So um, I could literally take attendance all throughout my session, all throughout my session. All I would need to do is um, click again. That's an add on. You see this apple here with the check mark. That's called meet attendance. And um, you can see the options there that you can just do a right click. Um, you can add a new sheet. You can switch it on and off by just clicking here. So this basically tells you how to use meet attendance. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up right now, but um, in any case, the meet attendance is, um, Yes, uh, Marcy says, so we will be able to add this to our um, our computers. And the answer to that is yes, you can. You can add that to your computers. I'm going to go ahead and I didn't really want to do show myself, but I'm going to go ahead and show myself. Is it possible for a teacher to delete a student's comment on, on chat? Um, well, that's a good one. I didn't really think about that. And um, from what I can see, no. At this moment, 
what I'm seeing, I'm trying to do it and I can't. So I would say not, not at the moment. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to continue on. So I do want to show you this. If I had my video on, and I did say I was going to turn that on, so I'm going to turn it on, not that I really want to because I look kind of rough. Um, but I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to take one for the team. Um, if I wanted to blur the background on my screen, I could um, blur that background. So this is visual effects, and this is something that um, I this is something that I installed. Yes, you can move remove the student from the meet if they're being inappropriate. Then you just arrow down next to their name, you click on the minus sign, and remove them. That is what you do. Um, I can put bubbles on this screen to kind of get their attention. Um, I can make it a high contrast if I want, just to kind of give just a little flair. Um, the blur feature, if I wanted that, see right now it's I have it blur really blurry. Um, as I move the slider down, it kind of changes that. And this is the field of blur right here. So your background blur. So I can choose the background, uh, blur out that background if I wanted or not. Um, so anyway, that's the visual effects. Um, again, that's an add-in or an add-on that I did, but I'm, I'm starting to, um, I don't know if, if, let me see, I think it's this add-on here. Visual effects. So it's a little eyeball. And again, you have access to this as well because I've asked Tom to open it up. I also have this little, um, cool little, um, confetti thing here going on it's a paid version but you can just press cancel and then the confetti will roll and so i like that feature as well um i this is called nod i believe that's an add-on extension but that will be available and it shows you at the bottom left that it has um so as you can see at the bottom left it shows you that somebody is clapping or somebody is raising their hand it, you know um, if you click on the little hand icon it tells you that all right so um pretty easy i like i said i didn't really totally like this at one time but i'm as we go along i'm liking it more and more um, I'm going to go ahead and ask if there are any questions. I'm going to unpin me so um, you can see everyone. So again, if you want to only show yourself and you don't want the distraction of all the videos, you can pin yourself as well, just, just if you wanted to do that. Um, so if I want the students to meet me at a certain time, uh, will they have a different link all the time? Only if you reset that link or if you go to meet.google.com. That's a great question. So if you want them to have the same link all the time, then what you would do was meet within the class banner, right? You could at any time refer back. Oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that, Ms. Bro. So um, Ms. Bro is referring to our instructional technology page of our website. I've been um, putting my videos in there. I still have lots to load in. I, I just didn't have the time to do it. I put some PowerPoints in there. And yes, I'm glad you asked that, Allison, because I do have an informational PowerPoint um, or slide deck that goes with this. I just felt like I needed to do a live presentation rather than just going through slides. But I do have that as a reference for you guys to go back and look at, all right? All great questions, guys. Um, if you have any other questions, chat them into the chat box and I'll be glad to answer them. If not, I'm gonna hang on here for about five more minutes and then I'll go. But before then, I'm gonna stop this recording, all right? So let me X out of this chat box. Go play with Google Meet, guys. Invite some of your friends. 
It's really fun.